Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across the error code 0x8007079, the semaphone timeout period has expired. So if you come across this message and it says, you know, an unexpected error is keeping you from copying or modifying this file and then again with that associated error message, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best result should go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And now on the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, you want to go select the run option that corresponds to internet connections. And then again, I'd recommend following along with the prompts here, see if it's able to resolve the issue you're having. And if it's unable to resolve the problem, something else we can try here as well would be if we were to scroll down on this page and then underneath network adapter, select the run button. And again, follow along with the on-screen prompts. And hopefully that would have resolved the problem as well if you were having an issue here. Something else we can try as well if we close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in device manager. Best result, check it back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to double click on the network adapter section. So go double click on that. And then right click on your internet connection device under here. Right click on it and then select update driver. Search automatically for drivers. And you can also search for updated drivers on Windows Update. And hopefully again that should have resolved the problem. And finally, if none of those options work for you, you can just try resetting your network settings. And if you're using a wireless connection, make sure you have your Wi-Fi passcode nearby. Because once we're done with what we're about to do, you will need to restart your computer and enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials if you want to get back online once you restart. So just make sure you have that handy. And we're going to go ahead and move on to that next step. So again, open up the search menu once again, type in reset type in settings, go ahead and open that up, should be the best match, select network and internet on the left side, and then on the right side go underneath advanced network settings and go ahead and left click on that, and then on the right side you want to go down to network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings, go ahead and left click on that, this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as a VPN, client software, or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button, and then select Yes. And go ahead and close out of here, and save and close out of any open programs and applications, and restart your device. And there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to resolve the time F period has expired error message, and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.